Now, the book of Philemon was written by the Apostle Paul, and it was written to convince Philemon to forgive his runaway slave Onesimus and to accept him as a brother in the faith. And the thing about Philemon that's uh, interesting is it makes a radical sl statement for the time about slavery that is absolutely worth talking about. But firstly, let's talk about like overall, did I enjoy Philemon? Did I get anything out of it? And the answer is yes, I enjoyed it and I got something out of it. It's Philemon's it, is similar to Titus in that it's kind of a book you can easily like glance over because it's really, really short. There's not a ton in it. Um, but there is one particular passage in Philemon that is extremely powerful. And so, um, yeah, I liked it. It's definitely not, you know, uh, the book of James, which we'll talk about here soon. Uh, but it's, it, was, it, was an, it was an all right read with a truly golden nugget within. Now let's analyze that gold nugget. And that gold nugget is uh, Philemon chapter one. I, actually, there's only like one chapter in this thing, uh, verses eight through 16. Therefore, although in Christ I could be bold and order you to do what you ought to do, yet I appeal to you on the basis of love. I then, as Paul, an old man and now also a prisoner of Christ Jesus, I appeal to you for my son Onesimus, who became my son while I was in chains. Formerly he was useless to you, but now he has become useful both to you and me. I am sending him, who is my very heart, back to you. I would have liked to keep him with me so that he could take your place in helping me while I am in chains for the gospel. But I did not want to do anything without your consent, so that any favor you do will be spontaneous and not forced. Perhaps the reason he was separated from you a little while was that you might have him back for good, no longer as a slave, but better than a slave, as a dear brother. He is very dear to me, but even dear to you, both as a man and as a brother in the Lord." Now the thing that is so revolutionary about this passage is that you know even though Paul does not condone or support slavery in really any of his writings, he mostly just says, uh, he mostly just acknowledges that it's a thing and he instructs masters how they ought to treat their slaves and slaves how they ought to treat their masters. What he does here that's really extraordinary is he calls slaves, uh, this particular slave Onesimus, a brother in the Lord. Um, and that was really, you know, that's revolutionary because even though slaves weren't viewed in the same way at least as far as my historical knowledge that I know teaches me, as far as slaves back then, they were still viewed as human beings, but they weren't, I mean, like they were still obviously frowned upon because they were slaves. Like they, you could still treat them pretty terribly. Um, and they were still like viewed as lesser citizens. Um, and even though it wasn't, they don't, I don't think they were literally viewed like animals, like they were in chattel slavery in America, but suffice to say being a slave was not, not, a, not a fun gig. Um, but what Paul does here is he says, no, uh, Onesimus is a brother in the Lord. He's valuable. Um, you know, you have him back and, and have him back, uh, but no longer as a slave, but better than a, than a slave as a dear brother. I mean, it's like, that was revolutionary for the time. Um, and it's not necessarily revolutionary for today, but it's very interesting from today's perspective, looking back at this and seeing how this mentality really shifted things uh, throughout the land that is called Earth. That last sentence sounded so stupid, forgive me. But point is, good passage, that's my that's the thing I wanted to talk about in Philemon, okay? Gosh, ah, I need to drink some water so I can, you know, use my tongue properly. What are you saying, Carter? Anyways though, ladies and gentlemen, those are my thoughts on the book of Philemon and the one passage that I wanted to talk about in the book of Philemon. But please, now, please tell me what you thought of the book of Philemon. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe. Tell your friends about the channel. And never forget to...